Well, everybody, I've been talking about the stained glass windows here in our spiritual home, the church here at St. Patrick's Cathedral. No surprise, one of the stained glass windows is in honor of St. Patrick. Every church has a patron, sometimes a title of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, sometimes a title of our Blessed Mother, or one of the saints, okay? Obviously, we love St. Patrick here. It, this cathedral was dedicated to St. Patrick and its precedent, which is still, which is still here down, uh, down the southern part of Man Manhattan, as, uh, as a tribute to the huge number of Irish immigrants who came to this country with literally nothing of earthly value, but their pearl of great price, their Catholic faith. So they had a deep devotion to St. Patrick and this cathedral and this archdiocese is dedicated to him. There you'll see St. Patrick, of course, and you know the story, how he was kidnapped from England, brought to Ireland as a slave, kind of fell in love with the Irish people, escaped, went back to England, became a priest, and then returned to Ireland as a missionary, as an evangelist to convert the Irish, and that he did. So you see him there surrounded by the people of Ireland. You'll also notice below it is the scene of Archbishop John Hughes, who's the, uh, the real father of the cathedral, meeting with the renowned architect uh, Renwick, and with him would be his successor, Cardinal McCloskey, and Cardinal McCloskey's secretary, John Farley, who became McCloskey's uh, successor. So there's three archbishops of, uh, of New York who are uh, there talking to Renwick about a cathedral of suitable magnificence dedicated to St. Patrick's. We're proud of it. We love it as our family home in the church.